What was Melchizedek? I mean, is there a, an island or yeah, an actual an physical island. place where it is? Yeah, we have an island somewhere in uh, uh, God, I've got Fiji, something like that. There is an island around the, the Pacific. Have you been there before? No, he, David is. David and some has? people has been there. Okay. Yeah, some of his people. Because it's, it's a remote island. It's hard to get there. It would take you at least... Uh, you know, you fly and then you go to one main island and then you take a boat and then you go to another island. Yeah. Does anyone live there now? Uh, I don't know now. I don't know. Okay. We, we have those. I, somewhere. Okay, because there was a, a news report in 2000, I, I think it was a CBS interview with David Corum that yeah. said the island was actually below sea level. But Yeah, because it sometimes is. it sometimes when the high tide, mm -hmm. it goes down. It's like in the Philippines, in my island in Mindanao, it's called the Kamigin. There is a white island there, like by five, six o'clock in the morning, it will appear, okay? And then later on, when high tide by, uh, by sundown, you better get out of there. It will sink, it will disappear. Yeah. What was the Dominion doing anything bad? I mean, is it true no. what they say that it was a, a, a no. entity designed to commit financial no. fraud? Okay. No, no, that is absolutely false. That's not true. What is its purpose? I mean, what does it exist for? If, pe if there, you know, if there's the, an island that people don't live on, what does the country? We help them, like for you know, because that's what the meaning of Melchizedek, peace and righteousness. We are creating a special kind of government or a country where in uh, there will be like uh, there's no war. It's just love, okay, and giving and sharing. We will have a garden. We will plant stuff mm -hmm. and we share together. We eat the same food together. Mm -hmm. And then we help you. If you have some talent, we use your talent to do some special work, you know, okay. like what you can do. But not, not to hurt anybody, not to commit fraud. No, that's not uh, the intention. When I was the leader. Why did you declare spiritual warfare on the Attorney General of California and France? When they oh, were because at that time, when I became a president, I, that's a good question. Okay, he was, you know, remember how uh, uh, France was doing some bombing, I forgot now, and it's not right. You know, I think, uh, I think uh, people should not be killed, we should be talking to them, and so what the, 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 war, the kind of war I do is spiritual war. And that's what I did with Eric Dissel. I pray. And, but there's nothing malicious. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's bad. But I what don't, what I about don't... the Attorney General of California? Hmm? What did, wasn't spiritual warfare declared on the Attorney General of California as well? Yeah, I forgot the whole story now. Because I do remember in 1990, I said, that's not fair. I, I don't like injustice. I mm -hmm. like, you know. And then if I declare war with you, I declare with you, with, we have to talk, but we're rational and n tell the truth, you know, and then we can talk. And then, but then if you don't respond, then I will pray for you. Yeah. So it wasn't because of the legal problems that came up in Shasta County that spiritual no, warfare no. was declared? The Shasta County, that's what I told you. That was so funny because we have a cabin up by the Pit River Bank and by the Pit River Indian. And then I was going to get a. Uh, loan for a car in the Tribali Bank and then I didn't realize that using Bankesha because I'm from Asia we live in the river bank bank and Asia so I put Bankesha I never thought that it's a bank no it's not a bank okay I just created that name because of Pit River Bank Kesha okay so I applied for a loan for a car loan and that's it 